Hey folks, Steve Johnson with supercub.org here. Today I'm here to talk to you about the Northland USB key, which is a great compilation of drawings, put mostly made by Piper, um, of the PA-18 Super Cub and the L-21. It's got a lot of great stuff in it. The history of it is a guy named Earl Edgar, uh, who lived up in Alaska, was a uh, manufacturer of different uh, Super Cub products as well as a Super Cub rebuilder. And during his time of working on airplanes, he collected all of this information, uh, great information about uh, putting these airplanes together. So in those days, it came out on a CD. And now we ship this product out on a little USB key. This is all you get in the mail. Looks just like this right here. And if you know how a USB key works, it just twists around there. And we plug that into our computer. So let me do that and we'll get started. When you plug it into your computer, a lot of time your computer will make a little bit of a noise if you have your speakers on. And uh, in this case it pops up and tells me it has uh, uh, been hooked up. I have, uh, am using Windows. I'm using a Windows computer here. So we're going to open Windows Explorer by pressing Window key E. Uh, if you're using a Mac computer, I believe it's Command N to open a Finder window. When I press window key E, my Explorer pops up, and I'm going to scroll down here on this side until I see Northland. Now, on your computer, when you put a USB key in, it might pop up automatically and have you open it. If so, that's great. Mine, I have to go over here and click it. When I do, I get this giant list of files that you can see over here. But what I'm going to have you do is scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and the second to the bottom is User Agreement. If you double-click that, you will see the disclaimer and user agreement for the Northland PA-18 drawings. Now at this point I want to point out that uh, Earl Edgar died quite a number of years ago, so there haven't been any changes to this product at all in the last, boy, at least 10 to 15 years, possibly even longer than that. But most of these drawings are from the 40s and 50s, so uh, there's not a whole lot that could change. Down here we're going to click I agree. That's going to pull up this nifty uh, little uh, menu list right here. I'm going to click this thing in PDF. Now it's a good good uh, thing for me to point out right now. You're going to need Adobe Acrobat Reader at a minimum to uh, be able to use this tool. There is an old version of it that comes on the USB key. However, uh, you're better just to get online and uh, go to adobe.com and download the latest version of Adobe Reader if you don't already have Acrobat installed on your machine. Okay, after we've clicked uh, I agree on our screen there, it takes us to this menu of all of the different things we can see uh, and all the different drawings we can use. So let's pick one out of here. Let's pick uh, float brackets. Well, no, let's take fuel system. Once I click fuel system, it brings me into all of these different drawings that are associated with the fuel system. I'm going to click right here on the angle fuel tank cover support. Hello. There it comes with a little double click and you'll see that it pulls up this drawing. If you note down here, this particular drawing was made in 1946. That gives you an idea exactly what it looks like. I'm going to click the back button up here and go back a level. I can click over here to return to the main index. Again, if my main index is zoomed in too much like this, I can click this fit to page button over here in Acrobat. That's about how the whole thing works. There's tons of drawings out here. There's a parts catalog. The Super Cub parts catalog is also uh, part of the content. Let me go back to the next level. And the uh, erection manual here for the L21A. Also, this has some maintenance information in it as well, too. You can scroll through this. But as you can see, this is the original stuff that was published back in 1954. So this is obviously a great resource for anybody building a uh, Piper Super Cub or an L21. And uh, I would not hesitate to say that uh, it's useful to any Super Cub owner. Now, you can order this little USB key by going to the northlandaircraft.com website and clicking the online store. 
searching supercup.org because uh, it's actually the R online store is where it is sold. You can check the comments below this YouTube video and uh, there'll be a link down there on how to order it as well. Now, for those of you who have made it all the way through this video, if you tell me that you watch the video to the end, I will refund all of your shipping charges so there'll be no shipping no matter where in the world you order this from. Just send me an email at steve at supercub.org and tell me I want my shipping refunded. I hope you enjoy this valuable resource for all Supercub owners.